Patow! Zombicide Invader Promo Xenos Pack. Let's dive in. Okay, I thought I'd do a little unboxing of this. Um, this is something you get usually from the Kickstarter, the promos uh, Xenos pack only. You only get it from Kickstarter or whatever. Uh, Game Steward had their Black Friday sale and it was absolutely amazing. Um, usually this goes, I think, uh, $70 and up. Game Steward did a one day uh, Black Friday sale for $19.99. Couldn't pass up on this one. Um, yeah, I opened the cards up, so you get your Driller Spawn. Well, I'm not going to focus it. Driller Blitzer Spawn. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get six of those, because there's six of them. And then you have these uh, Flingers, man. Um, we'll go through all these Flingers here real quick. Uh, that's the guys up in the top row here. Driller Blitzers are right here. After that, you get your uh, Seeker's Worker Spawn. Uh, let's see. Yeah, your Seeker Worker Spawn, which are going to be these guys on the bottom here. There'll be a quick slideshow of uh, what they look like up close. Um, they look pretty dang good, uh, detail-wise. Uh, Zombie Invader came out in 2019, I believe. And um, so it's still fairly kind of new. Um, like uh, Zombicide 2nd Edition that came out, uh, what, a year or two ago? Um, two years ago, I think. Uh, they pretty much, Zombicide 2nd Edition pretty much uh, took just tidbits from an invader and black plate and, and all that and put it in the modern um it's what it seems like um you get one you get a mold spawn uh one mold spawn one seeker worker uh these guys right here uh, focus and um in each active mold zone if there is no active mold zone draw another card so okay and then there's your xeno xenomoth here focus so those Big ugly looking things with uh, nothing but teeth. So that's got to be pretty frightening to get jumped on by those things. Alrighty, now it has the rules here, like the Driller Blitz rules. And on the back, it tells you right there, uh, they get two actions. So they're just like runners. Uh, to eliminate damage two, experience provided one. Okay, use the Driller Xenos rules explained in Zombicide Dark Side, Driller Blitzers show. Share the same targeting priority level, okay, blah, blah, blah. I have two actions every time they are activated. Okay, they're just uh, pretty much like runners. But I thought there'd, there'd be some kind of... Here's the Flinger's Rules. Flinger's Rules is um, uh, one damage, uh, and they only get, you only get one experience point. Flinger's, whoops, bumped the camera, sorry guys. Share the same targeting priority level as workers. Flingers attack the zone with survivors in line of sight at range 0 to 2. Ooh. If several zones are eligible, choose following this order. One zone with the most survivors, noisiest zone. If all tied, golly, sorry guys, I'm just all shaky. If all tied, players choose. So, well, I bet you that kind of made you dizzy, didn't it? Seeker workers rules. They share the same targeting priority level as workers. They do not benefit from... From workers, extra activation card. Whoops, sorry, there you go. All seeker workers already on the board get an extra activation each time a seeker Xeno card is drawn. Oh, that's fun. And then you have the Xeno Moss. Let's see what these Xeno Moss are like. Uh, one experience point when killed. Share the same targeting priority, blah, blah, blah. Cannot be eliminated by melee actions. Oh, you can only kill them by range. Wow. Move up to three zones per activation towards their destination zone. They don't change their course if a new target appears on the way. Xenomoths still get only one action per activation, either moving or attacking. Holy crap, they're like the uh, crows and dogs, modern and um, black plague. So, wow. Alrighty, uh, I'll do a quick slideshow here just to give you an example of what they look like. Um, looking forward to getting these guys primed and painted. I may... Uh, step out of bounds on my chronological order play and uh, just start playing some Invader and Black Plague now. <laughs> and uh, we'll go that route. So, all right, uh, any comments, advice, questions, whatever, leave them down below. Um, I'll answer them. I read all the comments and all that stuff. Uh, if you're into Zombicide, please sub my channel and uh, you'll see a whole bunch of Zombicide here. 
into miniature wargaming, um, I do that too. So plan paint up a lot of miniatures and plan on getting a couple of war games in here pretty soon. So alrighty, um, you guys take care and I'll see you the next time. Bye.